guys, I'm back with another Favourites and Empties video. So I'm going to be talking about all of my favourite things throughout the month of April, as well as sharing with you all of the products, kind of beauty related products that I used up in April. So I'm going to start off with my favourites because I don't have too many and I have quite a few empties. So to start off with, uh, the first thing that I really loved wearing in April, and I'm still wearing it in May and I'm wearing it today, is this. This is the Bourjois Colour Boost uh, Glossy Finish Lipstick. The shade is, where is the shade? Orange Punch. Um, and it looks a little bit intimidating because it is an orange lipstick, but because it's a balm, it's quite sheer, kind of glossy, um, so it doesn't come off as pow in your face orange as you might think. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. And it doesn't look that orange, to be honest. When it mixes with my natural lip colour, it just kind of creates this slightly reddish, slightly orangey kind of um, sheer, balmy kind of look on my lips. I don't really know how to explain it, but it doesn't look kind of straight up orange. It just looks kind of a bit more muted and a bit more wearable. So I've really been enjoying wearing this um, over the past month. Another makeup related favourite for the month of April has been layering my Urban Decay Sustainable Palette eyeshadows which if you guys have been watching some of my recent videos you'll know that I'm doing Pan Matte Palette this year and that is my palette for this year. So basically Pan Matte Palette is where you try to use up all of the eyeshadows in a particular palette for the year. Um, so what I've been doing is layering a few different things to try and get a bit more use out of my eyeshadows and get through them a bit quicker. I did um, an update a couple of weeks ago now, I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Um, and I hadn't made as much progress in the first sort of four months of the year as I would have liked. So what I've been doing is I've been using this Maybelline Colour Tattoo in pink gold as my base. And then over the top of that I have been wearing... Half Baked, which is this kind of bright gold shade, kind of trying to sheer it out a little bit over the lid and then to make it a little bit more subtle, I guess, in a way, um, I've been layering Flash over the top of it, which is this purple, um, and it just creates this almost taupey kind of look. Purples really flatter my eye colour, I find just make them look really nice. So I've been wearing those two and it kind of gets a little bit of use out of those two eyeshadows and they look really pretty layered together. So I've really been enjoying that over the past month. That is kind of what I've got on my eyelids today. I've also got half baked on the outer half of my um, eyes with flash over the top just to kind of change up a little bit and try and get a bit more use out of twice baked. But um, yeah, that's what I've really been loving doing in April as well. My final favourite for the month has been the Tone Up Bikini series. If you guys have been following me on Instagram especially or Twitter, you'll know that I am heavily tweeting and Instagramming about the Tone Up Bikini series, which if you don't know what Tone Up is, I will leave their website linked below. If you're into kind of health and fitness and working out that kind of thing, then you will probably love their site. Um, so I have been loving doing the bikini series. It's only been the first week um, as I filmed this, but I've been doing workouts every single day. I have been loving them. The new uh, Beach Babe 4 workouts that they came out with for this series have been amazing. I have loved pretty much every single one of them I've done so far and um, I'm kind of surpassing my goals that I had originally set for myself so I'm really pleased with how this is going so far. Like I said, it's only week one so we'll see how I go um, but I've really been loving this, enjoying checking in on Instagram and in the Turn Up community as well and on Twitter and kind of connecting with other girls and it's really inspiring and motivating when you see everybody else kind of getting up early for their workouts and stuff. It's just a really nice community to be a part of so really been enjoying that this month or kind of over the last couple of weeks I guess but definitely been a favourite and it will continue to be a favourite over the next few weeks I'm sure. So now onto my big bag of empties which is very full. I don't know how I've managed to use up quite so many products in the past month but I have so let's dive in. Uh, the first thing that I used up is the Matrix Biolage. Uh, this is the conditioning balm. This was in my favourites last month and I just had a little bit of it left which I have now finished up. I'm still working on the shampoo. I still have a little bit more of that left. I always seem to have more shampoo left over than I do conditioner but this is really really nice. Would definitely recommend it if you can find it on a good deal. I, I know it's kind of a bit more of an expensive shampoo and conditioner but I would definitely recommend it. I got this at TK Maxx so it was, it was a little bit more um, affordable but definitely recommend it. It makes my hair feel really really soft, um, really helps to nourish it and I would repurchase this in the future if I could find it on a good deal. I wouldn't purchase this full price just because it's kind of out of my price range that way but would definitely pick it up if I could find it at TK Maxx again. 
I used up the Batiste dry shampoo, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I absolutely love this stuff. It's my dry shampoo of choice. Um, it doesn't leave kind of that white chalky mark in your hair. Works really well, smells really great. Would definitely recommend it. I have a few Lush products in here that I used up. So I have the five gold rings bubble bar, which was from the Christmas collection that they came out, or the holiday collection that they came out with this previous Christmas, which is amazing. I have a review of all of these products, I think, up on my blog. So if you want to know more about them, see what they look like before I obviously use them up, because all I have now are the empty packets. And um, if you want to see any of that stuff, then I will leave my blog and that these particular blog posts are linked below if you want to check them out. Um, just in case you want to kind of get a bit of a heads up if they come out of them again this year, um, at least you'll kind of know whether or not you want to pick them up to try them. But Five Gold Rings was a bubble bar, so it created bubbles in the bath, it had a bit of a gold glitter effect in it, and it smelled really nice, very kind of vanilla-y and soft and soothing. Um, I also used up the Snow Angel Bath Melt, which as the title would suggest, it melts in your bath, creates kind of creamy, milky kind of bath water, um, very moisturising and again, smells very kind of vanilla-y and soft, um, it has rose, benzoin, cassis ab absolute, um, marzipan as well, and cocoa butter for moisturising, would definitely recommend the bath melts, they are really nice, um, the only thing you have to worry about is just kind of making sure you clean the bath really well afterwards, particularly if you have a shower over the bath because it might make the bath a little bit slippy afterwards, but loved that one, and then I also used up one of the uh, reusable bubble bars, this was the Magic of Christmas, which smelled like cinders to me, which is my, again, if you've been following me for a while and watched several of my Lush videos, you'll know that I absolutely adore cinders, it's my favourite, all time favourite bubble bar or anything really that Lush come out with, and they only come out with it once a year, I wish they would come out with like a shower gel or something in that scent, but I absolutely love this as well, and it's a reusable bubble bar, so again it creates bubbles, um, but you can reuse it, so it has a wand that it's attached to, and you basically swish that around in your water or hold it under the uh, running tap and it creates bubbles and then you can just pop it on the side and let it dry out and use it again another day. So that was that, would definitely recommend them, they're kind of good value for money as well. I got through a pack of Sainsbury's uh, Fairtrade Cotton Wool Double Faced Pads, which were okay but not as nice as the Boots ones that I prefer. Um, I used up the La Roche-Posay Epiclar Duo, I always have this on hand, this is amazing at keeping spots at bay. I used to have really bad kind of acne, like hormonal acne around my cheeks and I started using this and haven't had it since basically. I have a whole blog post talking about this with kind of before and after pictures as well, if you want to check that out I will leave that linked below as well, but would definitely recommend that if you suffer with hormonal type of acne. Um, or spots, this has helped me phenomenally and I absolutely love it, I always have a bottle of this on hand. I also used up the Dove Go Fresh uh, Antiperspirant, this is in the Grapefruit and Lemongrass scent, which the scent is really nice, these Dove ones, um, I love the scents of, they're just very fresh and invigorating, but I have now stopped using the kind of standard typical aerosol antiperspirants, I'm now using a natural salt based one, which I am really enjoying at the moment actually. Um, I can't say whether or not it's a favourite just yet because I haven't been using it long enough and I haven't used it, we're kind of not into the summer months, it's not gotten too hot yet so I can't really put it to the test and see if it's going to really stop me from smelling when it gets really warm out, but um, so far I'm liking it, but um, yeah, finished up that deodorant. Um, I also finished up this Magic Touch uh, Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk Ultra Rich Whipped Body Cream from Rituals. This was okay, I kind of just used it up to use it up. The scent is really nice, all the Ritual stuff smells really good, but um, I can't say that the quality is amazing. Um, it feels really, really nice going on, but then I found that it didn't really leave me all that hydrated afterwards. Once it kind of sunk in, my skin still felt a bit dry, so not sure if I would really recommend it, but the scents are really nice, and if you don't have particularly dry skin, then you might quite like that. And then everything else that I have in this bag are not empties. I haven't finished using them up, but I am getting rid of them, um, mostly because I either don't use them or um, haven't used them for a while and that I've kind of had them around for too long, they've kind of gone a bit off and I don't really want to continue using them in case it kind of, you know, I don't want to be putting bad skincare products on my face and have it break me out or do something like that, so um, these are all things that I am getting rid of even though they are not empty. 
So first off, I have the Garnier Miracle Sleeping Cream. I did really like this at the time, and it's a really odd kind of consistency product because it just, I don't know if you can see that, it, it's not like a cream, it's really thick um, and almost gloopy, but it's meant to be like that. Um, you can kind of push your finger into it and your finger won't sink into the product unless you push quite firmly, it'll kind of like bounce almost. Um, I did start using this and then I think, um, if my memory serves me, it was just a little bit too rich for my skin and I would wake up in the morning and my skin would be really, really greasy um, and it was kind of making my skin more and more greasy the longer I used this, but it was nice enough. Um, I feel like it did kind of plump up my skin a bit, so it was good for that, but I wouldn't, re uh, I wouldn't repurchase it just because it did make my skin more oily over time. Next I have Herbal Essences Tussle Me Softly Finishing Touch Cream, which has a wild violet fragrance, which it smells amazing. But if I show you this, it does smell really good. It's basically full, um, but I have had this for years and I basically just never use it. Um, I've used it a handful of times. I could probably count on both hands how many times I've used this, just because I don't tend to wear my hair wavy. It just, it doesn't hold, even with this it doesn't hold. And I found I couldn't use much of this because it just either left my hair looking greasy or crunchy. And obviously they are two things I don't want my hair to look like. Um, so. I would have to use such a small amount of this and I was just never getting used through it and then I just basically stopped using it um, so I don't want to, I'm kind of trying to declutter a little bit so I'm kind of get, trying to get rid of things that um, have been sitting around for a while that I'm just not using so that's why that one's going. Same for this product, this is the Dove Oxygen Moisture um, for Fine Flat Hair, this is a root lift spray which I used a couple of times didn't really seem to give my hair that much volume, um, but it kind of also made my hair a bit kind of sticky at the same time. Um, so it didn't look that great, didn't really do what I wanted it to do. And when I hold this up to the light, I can see it's kind of got particles floating in it now. And that to me says that this has kind of gone off and gone bad and that's maybe like bacteria floating around in there. So I don't want to be spraying that on my hair and probably getting it all over my face and breathing it in and stuff like that. So I'm getting rid of that one. This product I have had for years and years and years. I've probably had this for, I want to say close to 10 years. That's really embarrassing. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Scar Serum with Vitamin E. This smells kind of gross. I mean, originally it smelled gross because it's got um, shark oil in it or something. Um, it's got, yeah, shark liver oil and onion extract so it doesn't smell great it kind of smelled a bit fishy um but i was using this for um stretch marks and i'm not sure if it really did i don't think i really used it for long enough to really see a difference but i didn't see any noted difference when using this um and like i said i've had it for way too long so i'm just gonna get rid of it because i haven't used it for the longest time anyway also getting rid of this this i got in a one of, one of the beauty boxes I received a couple of years ago, I think. This is from Green People, and it's their um, sun lotion with SPF 15. Um, I think this is, yeah, it's a tan accelerator as well. I just never used it, never reached for it. It kind of got left in my beauty cupboards, and <laughs> beauty cupboards, it makes it sound like I have a whole room of beauty products, which I guess I kind of do, but not really. Um, I just have one set of shelves, which is now just one shelf of beauty products. Um, but it's kind of got left there and I forgot about it so I wasn't using it and it's been around for too long. The SPF will have expired by now so it's no good for that so I'm just going to get rid of that. And the last thing I have in here is something that I almost finished using up. Uh, this is the Rapid Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. This I did a blog post on, which I will link below as well. The results I got for this were amazing. I used it consistently for several weeks had amazing results with it and then I can't remember why but I just kind of got out of the habit of using this um, and then just never quite got back to it and then when I was like oh, I really want to start using it again because I noticed that my lashes weren't as long and as full as they used to be um, it kind of been a bit too long and I didn't want to be putting this kind of so close to my eyes and potentially giving myself an eye infection so I am getting rid of this but it is almost almost empty um, I did kind of persist with this one and I absolutely would recommend it if you were looking to um, enhance your eyelash growth or give your eyelashes a bit of a volume boost definitely check out my blog post you can kind of see the 
before and afters because you can kind of get a, bit, get a better idea of how it works. It does take a while to work though and you kind of won't see results for several weeks and then all of a sudden I had amazing eyelashes and they're amazing and I love them. Um, so I will be repurchasing this at some point uh, when it's back in my budget. I picked that up, I believe, from Amazon where it was half price. If you try and pick it up from Boots or somewhere like that, I think it's about £40, which is a bit ridiculous if you ask me, but it does last um, kind of as long as you need it to to see results and then some. Um, but yeah, I picked it up from Amazon for about £20, I think. So that's a little tip. If you are interested in that, if you've been thinking about getting it, look on Amazon or look elsewhere online because I'm sure you can find it for cheaper than you can if you go to somewhere like Boots. But they were all of my empties for the month of April. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did so that I know to keep doing these videos. Check out all of my links below and subscribe if you're not already to be notified of when I put new videos up. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, today I'm finally going to be doing a walkthrough of my bullet journal, kind of how I've set it up, what different collections I have in here, how I use it. I know I've been saying for a while that I was going to do this video and...